My name is Zach Orji, and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo, Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Richie Nolly TV. The green snake on top of a very big green tree. The man in my class are always expecting the bullet. Your words have shown how shallow minded you are. What a long life I would never even this. Your presentation as the crown prince of this land is in two weeks. You are not supposed to get angry. I tried to defeat this devil, father, but it was beyond my control. I don't lay hands on women. Just call your brother, can go away now. What is wrong with a prince falling for a normal lady like you? I need you girls to penetrate the palace. Why are we discussing fornication in this kind of place now? Take me to your room right now. This is what I have to do. Everything off. Like you want me to? Okay, I'll go. No, no. My aim is to bring you down on your knees and have you beg for mercy. You are a married man with children. You should retire. The prince must marry my daughter whom he defied. What did you just say? Only we are not mine. The smile. I am going to make you pay. That money will be used to chase your coffin. Allow the girls to do things their own way. If you go to war with him, you will not come out well. Oh no, who is talking and do? Oh no, we we finish the mafia. So I am. Hey, I'm a new man. How did you even manage to become the Ono? When all you do is to initiate one problem in Umweke and sustain it. Initiate problem and sustain it. I think I like that you're calling me. I will make sure I sleep with all the elders in your cabinet. I even get that you have been giving it to some men in the bush. Go put it up to everybody. Idiot. My name is Zach Orji and I'd like to encourage you to watch quality Nollywood movies on Sony Reaching Nolly TV. My name is Frederick. My name is Yo, Yo Edoche. Go and subscribe to Sony Richie Nolly TV. Hold on. Hold on a minute. You have been part of this all this life. Your relationship was necessary. I'm sorry, but it was actually very necessary. We seized her brother to force her to do what we wanted her to do. The issue here is that I was all out to save a friend from a man who not only destroyed his family but grounded his relationship. So, um, who are you to have been able to deceive me all these years without my knowing? Well, Your Majesty, you can say one of your nightmares. I should have left when the princess became so hard on me. I lost that thought of living. But then again, I said, what is the point? I needed to stay back to establish what ought to be established. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what a weird world we live in. So all the girls that you were bringing here, It was all a setup. So, not only have you been milking my father of his hard earned money, you have been setting him up the entire time. You've been a spy, setting him up with all those girls. Well, my princess, if you say it that way, you are making me to be an entirely bad person. I am not a bad person. I remain a friend. I have, I, I have lost count of the number of times I sat that friend down, your friend, to talk some sense into him for him to start to live how a king to me. He dismissed me all those times. He never listened to me. And if I'm to tell you, if you're looking for someone to blame, put the whole blame on him. Because he's nothing close to being a father, less a king. Okay, it's all hard enough for this. 
King Solomon of Obodenu Kingdom. You've been served with the notice and your countdown starts now. We will be on our way now. Yes. Very important. I'm sorry. Baby, please. Believe me, I am sorry. I am truly sorry for being your. You're sorry? Believe me, I did not plan it. You didn't plan for it. You didn't plan to do this, you say? He didn't plan to make a fool out of me! Out of my family! I trusted you! I stood by you! With you! Against everybody else! And you... You did this. You go where you did this. I had always known she wasn't pregnant. I know it. No, don't say that. Modi, my instincts. My instincts never lies to me. I just knew it. She was never pregnant. She is still not pregnant. They, they gave me the results to give. But I believed you. I believed in you. You were supposed to be my friend. How could you do this? You did this. Sorry. I'm truly sorry. I didn't know what to do, what they wanted me to do. When I heard of the possible kidnapping of my brother, he jumped on every opportunity to do what they wanted to save him. You would have done the same if you were in my shoes. I did not mean to lie to you or hurt you. It wasn't my intention. Shut up, please. Shut up! Shut up! Who cares what your intentions were? God damn it! Right now they have the answers. They have the results. They want it. That's all the freaking matters. And it's all your fault. Keep quiet. I am sorry, Clarion, but I am disappointed. I mean, you invited me over here to talk about the prince. What made you feel I want to talk about him? You once told me you loved the guy. <laughs> a statement made in error. It was a one-sided love. I discovered I was the one in love. He never did love me. And so I regret everything. You're confusing me. How do you mean he never loved you? <laughs> Look, it was in his room I got fired. That stone-hearted son of a Casanova king never did anything. I went on my knees begging. I was virtually crying. I gave him back his words, but he kept mute. So what does that tell you? It's possible he was overwhelmed. It's natural with men, you know? Well, I am no longer in the palace. Whether I was overwhelmed or is still overwhelmed, that's none of my business. I mean, that guy took advantage of me and I hate him. Don't worry, my friend. You will change that statement as soon as I give you the good news. What good news? The prince has left the palace in anger because of what befell his father. Is that the good news? Yeah, he's now vulnerable. This is the best time for you to take charge of what belongs to you. Call him. Let him tell you his whereabouts. Go there and take full charge of what is yours, my friend. Clara, what is the need? His father is no longer in authority as king, and he is no longer the prince. 
They fired me. I am now the one firing them. And you think running away, leaving only your sister to clean up this mess is okay? What do you want me to do? I can't go back there. I can't even look them in the face. He ruined my life, Sharon. Maybe he did something we are not proud of. And something that scared us. But that doesn't exempt you from your own mistakes. You make some decisions that you are entirely responsible for. You chose to live the life like your father. You didn't try to combat his demons. You gave in and look where that kept us. Back to square one. You know, I wish I could go back in time. And we can't. We would all have been so happy. Very happy. And we can't. You need to be a man and embrace the situation head on. My prince, you need to go home and make peace. Princess has tried for you too. She too can break. And only then can you come back. Then we'll discuss about the thing that happened. Madam Chica, I know how you'll be feeling about me right now. I know you're just saying all of this to make me feel better. But looking at it critically, I did the right thing. And that is why I'm here holding this meeting with you. King Solomon actually became too wild. And you know what? Your action put him where he truly belongs. Yes? No. My action cost him his throne. I am not happy about it. That was not my plan. Come on, stop feeling pity for him. A king who uses his position and take advantage of Ordinary people should know that there could be repercussion. So why pity for him? Hi, it's my friend. Oh. Hi, it's Moody. I know she hates me right now. How is she handling all of this? Well, Princess Moody has always been who she is. A combination of a queen and a princess. In fact, she's the only sane person in that palace right now. I have not someone courage to call her. Because oh. I know she will not pick up my call. No. She hates me right now. No. Please, can I talk to her through your phone? Can you call her for me? Hello? You can come to the palace anytime you want. And I assure you that the princess will be ready to welcome you as a special friend who went out of her way to teach her father a lesson. So feel free, all right? Smile. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. But well, you didn't offer me anything. How the mighty has fallen. Solomon, you had your chances. You could have averted this. You could have listened to your daughter, but no. This is where it brought you, but no, this is where it brought you now. I will end this. I will have to end this. You requested. I thought it was a joke. Daddy, what are you doing? 
That is the only way I think I should end it. Would you, my dear daughter? That's the only way I think I should end it for you, for this family. Because I am bad news. I'm a big bad woman to the family. Daddy. Don't say that. You are my father. And the king. The king who has lost his throne. Never has it been heard that a king in this kingdom abdicates his throne and lost it the way I have lost mine. I have lost the throne of my fathers. I have shamed my forefathers. I lost it all because I could not listen to the voice of wisdom. Because I could not control myself. And you think taking your life will put an end to it? You think dying will provide a solution? Daddy, listen. You've made mistakes. But you're not going to die because of those mistakes. What we will do is learn the important lessons from those mistakes. Okay? Woody. I do not deserve you. I do not deserve a soul as beautiful as yours. By the way, what are you still doing here? I belong here. Your brother left. Why are you not leaving? Because I'm with you, Daddy. We're family. Just because things got a little rough doesn't mean I will abandon you. We're family, Daddy. I got you. And as for Oranye, He's not angry at you. If anything, I I think he's angry at himself. I think he's angry at all the mistakes that he he made whilst deluding himself that you pushed him into making those mistakes. But he'll come back, Daddy. Because that's what family does. Family stick together. We will survive this, Royal or not. You need to cheer. Aranye, Daddy. Dad. She's right. Well, I've made mistakes. We have made mistakes, but we have also learned very big lessons. We cannot run away, Father. We cannot run away from our past. For if we do, our past will continue to chase us. That's right. We can lose royalty, Dad. But we cannot lose ourselves. For our family. I will 
are all that we've got. Oh, are you? I read your mindset about life. Arrange your mindset about women and we can begin to learn again, Father. Yes. Maybe. Only this time, Dad, we learn the right things. There's a lot to be thankful for, Dad. I am so thankful for my sister, Moody. She's an angel, Dad. For all that she stands for, for all the times that she tried to get us on the right track, who knows who would what would have happened if she had not been here to quench the fire when needed? Moody, yeah. I want you to know that we love you and we appreciate you. Sorry for all the troubles. All the unnecessary fights and headache that cost you for no reason. On behalf of Daddy, I say that we are sorry. It's okay. I forgive you too. Thank you. This is a storm. But together as family, we will overcome royal or not. Give me love. <laughs> Give me love, Daddy. You gotta be This is a royal home. Have some manners and bring down your legs. This kingdom now belongs to my father and I. Mm. The power is in our head. Very soon. Boom. The power is still on my head. Let's go. Let's go. If I don't sit on that throne, know it that it is not an here that is talking. Come on, yeah, man. Emena, Emena. He just collapsed. He just collapsed. He just collapsed. You've not heard. Get him now. The king, your brother, has just collapsed. The only one that can save your father's throne and your brother and the entire kingdom. I am the princess of this great kingdom. And I will go to any land to protect what belongs to my father. The throne does not belong to your father. So you cannot be the prince of this kingdom. You see what carried there. Taking him to the hospital is another big problem because people will be spying to know if he is dead or not. Please don't go anywhere. Your son is not mm. here to succeed you. Father, remember, if anything happens to you, I will not survive it. There is nothing wrong with your father. Don't you think this is spiritual? Oh, you're not talking. You're not talking. I was actually on my way to your house to warn you and your hopeless son. Uh, well, as you can see, I'm equally here. My future palace. He goes around the community, the kingdom, bullying and beating people. In fact, he is making everything possible to make sure he sits on that throne. Never. Make me the way and I will change your life in my house. So quick. I'll give you one last chance. If you know you are the one, Giving out the information in this palace that my father, the king, is dead. My elders, my great. The king 
is very much alive. One. Thank you.